Hi there. Today I'm going to show you how to make one of these great little deer hunter hats, deer stalker hats. Now this hat's uh, fairly small. Um, yeah, it's going to fit on this uh, teddy bear's head. But um, yeah, I guess you can make them bigger if you want to fit your uh, your own head. So to make one, we need to start with an A4 piece of paper, and I've got a red piece of paper. And then this uh, shorter edge, I'm going to fold that over so it touches the long edge. And fold it down so we get a diagonal. Yep. And then open it up and fold it the other way. So we get the diagonal going the other way. That point touches that little fold point there and that line, those two sides of the paper line up and fold it down and open it up. Now we're just going to get a ruler and a permanent marker and we're just going to mark some diagonal lines one way and turn it around and mark some diagonal lines the other way. I'm just going to put a bit of paper underneath that because the permanent marker is likely to come through the uh, red paper and mark the table underneath so I've got a bit of paper to to catch those uh, marks coming through and then we'll just uh, line that ruler up with that one so we'll be drawing diagonal parallel lines across the paper and if we line the ruler up with the line we've just uh, just marked then we'll get a perfectly parallel line each time. Okay, so we've got our parallel lines marked one way, and now we'll do our parallel diagonal lines the other way. We're going to mark along that diagonal line, the crease there we've made to begin with. Okay, so our page is um, covered in uh, diagonal lines, and now it's start, time to start folding. You can see there that uh, some of that lines have sort of come through on the other side. Okay, so what we're going to do now is turn it over and we'll fold it along one of those diagonal lines we've folded before. And then this other extra bit of paper at the end, we're going to fold that over like that. So it's so that edge of the paper, the fold line is going along that edge of the paper. And we'll open it up and fold that in yep. and then we'll fold that piece of paper there so we've got a square square piece of paper and we've folded that over and we've got our mark our marks our check marks on the outside and we'll have it like that so it's a triangle shape and then we'll get this edge here and fold it down to touch with that edge there like that. Yep, so we're left with that shape and we'll open it up and then we'll get this corner here and touch it up into that uh, corner there, that uh, fold, that fold corner. Yep, like that. And then we'll get this corner and touch it here on the other side. So we're left with that sort of shape with two bits at the front. So we'll fold that top piece down over that section and the other piece over there. And then just down the middle here we'll fold that edge over so it touches this side. Yep. And fold back the other way. And now we can start opening it out. And you get this natural little sort of crease there in the top. If you don't, you can sort of push down so you get it. And then the front little peak of the cap. What we're going to try to do is have a, a triangle there. So our fold is going to go uh, up from the corner to the middle there. And another little triangle from the corner up to that piece there like that. So it's a bit tricky. But uh, we'll... 
sort of fold halfway and then come back the other way and fold it. And you can see there you left with that little triangle in there, so it's nothing at the corner to a triangle there, and that gives you a nice sort of little peak on your cap there, and then do the same thing on the back. So you want to fold from the corner up to a point there in the middle. That's only probably a centimetre in, it's at about three quarters of an uh, one third of an inch. Yep. And there we go. Our little checkered cap is finished.